Over the years, we've built quite the relationship with the Hyundai Santa Fe. In fact, we've had a couple of them for several months to use as long-term test vehicles. One of our test vehicles was the victim of a windstorm and needed to be ushered into a body shop after a tree fell on it. Another had a very strong smell when the air conditioning was on, which was fixed, but most of our time in the Santa Fe has been very positive. Our staff has always enjoyed the attention to detail in the interior, comfortable ride and great value. It's kind of like meeting an old friend. So let's take a look at the updates for 2010. Styling hasn't changed much, but there have been minor tweaks to the front grille and bumpers. The same is true for the back of the Santa Fe. This is what is called a mid-cycle refresh, so nothing too dramatic to report on. The base model four-cylinder starts at just under 26,000, and there are several V6 models to choose from in front-wheel or all-wheel drive, and prices can climb into the 37,000 range for a fully loaded model. It's interesting to note that there's no four-cylinder all-wheel drive being offered, but I have a feeling that Hyundai will probably try to sell you a Tucson and then save the Santa Fe for people with a bit more money. The interior benefits from some tweaks as well. The steering wheel has been redesigned along with trim pieces. Bluetooth is standard along with sat radio. The Santa Fe can be as opulent as the owner chooses with optional leather, big sunroof, heated seats, and even navigation and upgraded stereo. One thing that's not offered is a third row of seats. This is kept for the larger Veracruz. The interior and exterior changes are modest. What are the biggest changes? Two excellent engine and transmission updates. The base 2.4 liter four cylinder engine is new and has 175 horsepower. The 3.5 liter V6 engine is a standout in this class of vehicle. It pulls very well, has a great engine note, and has impressive fuel ratings. Rated at 276 horsepower, this engine would be my choice if I were putting my money down. Hyundai has earned their success the hard way, one customer at a time. These vehicles, though, are just as good, if not better, than most of the cars on the market today. The price is competitive, but not as competitive as we're used to. The Santa Fe is everything we've grown to love, but now more responsive and fuel efficient.